If you ever want to add the contract address of any project to your Trust Wallet, or if you notice that when you click on this button here, your coin is not showing, then this video is for you because we'll be showing you how to add any token on Trust Wallet using the methods that will be described. Also, most times you buy a coin and it doesn't display by default. How do you make that coin to display on your Trust Wallet? That is also what this video is going to be showing you. Hello Crypto Smart Investors. So in this video, we'll be learning exactly how to add different crypto assets to our Trust Wallet app. Now, if you notice, when you come to this token session, you can actually add a whole lot of tokens and you notice that you have a whole lot of options to select from. Now, what happens when the token you want to add is not in this option or when you want to search it up, it doesn't display? How do you go about adding it then? So, supposing I want to add a token with a name Dex, alright? So, and I notice that of all the tokens mentioned, there is no token that goes with that name Dex, alright? So, I can go ahead to click on Add Custom Token. So if the token you want to add is not listed or you can't search for it or you can't find it, what you go ahead to do is to click on what? Add custom token. And in adding custom token, make sure you do one thing. You get the contract address of that particular token. Whoever is in charge of that particular project must give you the contract address. Request for the contract address. Once you've gotten the contract address, then one other thing you must make sure you do is to know the network. So what network is that particular project built on? Or what chain is that particular project built on? So you can quickly click on this section to change the network or the chain. And you can now go ahead to input your contract address. Then at other times, you must also know the name, the symbol, and the decimal of that particular project. The name of the project, assuming is Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu is the name of the project. And the symbol will be what? SHIB, which is what? SHIB. And the decimals can be decimal 18 or 9. So all the details must be provided for you if you are adding a custom token. Is that making sense? In this case, we are going to change our network from Ethereum to what Smart Chain. If you notice, there are a whole lot of chains to select from. But in this case, we are just going to go with what? Smart Chain, which is the chain where our token is built on. So I already copied the contract address of the token. I go ahead to hit on what? Paste. So you notice that the details comes up automatically. In this case, the name of the coin is what? Wakanda Inu token. And the symbol is what? WKD. And the decimal is what? 9. But sometimes it doesn't actually happen this way. So in this case, we are lucky and it's automated. Once we paste the contract address, every other thing comes up. But if it doesn't come up, then you must impute it manually. And once you are done, you hit what? OK. So once you've hit OK, the details of the coin as well as the percentage increase within that time is shown. So if you go back to your home, you notice that your coin that you just added is shown there. So in this case, our new token that we just added is shown here. So that is exactly how to add any token to your Trust Wallet app, whether it is displayed by default or you have to add it using the custom token option. Another way to get the contract address of any token is to use CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko. Supposing the coin has been listed on these coin aggregators. So in this case, we are just going to go to CoinGecko. So this is CoinGecko interface. You can actually check the trending coins at that particular time. You can just use it to monitor your coins as well as those that are doing well, as well as those that are not doing well. And if you are looking for any coin, you can go ahead to search for the coin here. So supposing I'm looking for a coin, Shiba Inu. Okay, I already have it here. So you type the name of the coin and it brings all the Shiba Inu and whatever that have Shiba or Inu in its name. So if you notice, we have 
a whole lot of them. So there can be meme coin or copy cards, but you have to make sure that in this case, the name of the coin appears as you search for it. So you must know the name of the coin for this method to work best for you. So Shiba Inu is different from Floki Shiba Inu, is different from Pixel Shiba Inu, is different from Green Shiba Inu. So all these are other types of coins. Some of them are the shittest of all shit coins. So for Shiba Inu, you click on the particular coin and it opens up. So once it opens up, you notice that you have this chart as well as the other details telling you more about the coin. But what you are interested in this case is the contract address. So I'm just going to click on this guy here now and it copies the contract address to my clipboard. So once I click it, you notice that it shows what copied contract address to clipboard. So I now go ahead to my trust wallet and just as we did before, I'm just going to add custom token. So I go ahead to add custom token. Now Shiba Inu, I see go ahead to paste the contract address and since it is built on the Ethereum blockchain, I leave the network as it is. So you notice Shiba Inu comes up automatically, Shift comes up, Decimal 18 comes up. So you can go ahead to click on what is custom token to learn more about custom token. So I click on what? Done and my Shiba Inu is added to my collection list. Is that all right? So that is how to add any token to your Trust Wallet app. If you got value from this video, go ahead to hit the subscribe button now. Like, share, and if you have any question, drop it in the comment section below and we'll be ready to attend to all questions. Remember to trade responsibly. Peace out.